Hello, vicious hackers. Welcome back to part two of my Lucifer 604 reaction video. If you haven't checked out part one of this reaction, make sure you go and click the link in the description box below to watch that one first. Otherwise, just get right back into this episode. Daniel is going to be crazy because no one can see him. As I said before, my only hope is maybe Amenadil might be the one to see him apart from Lucifer. But like, I just need to see Dan interact with somebody other than himself. And Lucifer and Chloe are going to go find Lucifer's daughter, which is apparently most likely... His, I'm assuming, probably, I guess it is, it's his kid, so good luck. So they're gonna go find her, so I hope you, hope you do well. Uh, but anyways, let's get right back into this episode. Let's go. Aminadil, please, come on, man, I just want my friends back. Aminadil. Why, well, I thought he could see him. Oh! Dan? Oh, oh my god! You can see Dan. But he did something. He's like, he went down, he did something, maybe... Or maybe he had earphones in. That's why Mandel couldn't hear Dan. Dead! He can see it! I'm not, I'm not gonna do well. You can see him? Wait, 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 did Lucifer bring you up here? No, 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 no. Oh! Psycho punk rock angel did. I mean, I didn't want to give Trixie a coordinator popping out of the bathroom mirror or something. <laughs> <laughs> Were you just studying police procedure? Yeah, man, I made it into the academy thanks to you. What? Yeah. Oh, look at this! Is it? <laughs> I'm not gonna cry because I can't. I can't. I'm still cried out from season five. Listen, the tears I'm saving them up for the last episode. But um, look, he's seeing Emily do be start, you know, learning to be a cop and I'm like, training to be a cop and like, oh, it must make him so proud. <laughs> I'm so sorry about getting upset with you before I... No, 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 it's okay, you know, it's okay, it's okay. I've been feeling so bad about the fight that we had right before you... Really? It's okay. I know. I love you, man. <laughs> I wish I could hug! Right. But I can't. What's up, Dan? Oh! Wait, she could see him this whole time, right? And she was saying that on purpose, because why the fuck would she mention Dan's pants? When she's getting fitted for her wedding, like why she knew, she could see him this whole time. Mazakin, you shifting little bitch. Love you. I could see you all along. Duh, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Maze. I might have figured this out earlier if you hadn't screwed with me. Yeah, I really missed you, bro. I know. Me oh, too. Man. I miss you guys too. <laughs> I'm so glad that we can, he can they can see each other. Thank God. Oh my heart, man. Oh my God. Oh my god! I will never get sick of that. I will never get sick of seeing Lucifer just bridal carry Chloe with his wings. I would never get tired of it. Show me it all the time. That was so beautiful. Holy shit, man. That was so beautiful. Isn't sure your table is in the upright position? I know mine is. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's just I've been thinking. What about other things we can try in the day? Yes, me too. Oh my god. <laughs> about how you've been keeping all of this from me because. I was married to Dan, so just so you know, you, you can tell me about it. Right. Well, well there's there so many. There never will be anything between Esther and I. I flew away. What? She's an angel? Why wouldn't you tell me that? I thought she knew. I, Maybe she didn't know. I don't know. It must have been just death threats and Daniel coming back to Earth. <gasps> oh, no. What? Oh, Lucifer, honey, you're digging your own grave. I can't. She didn't know. I actually had thought that Chloe knew she was an angel. I actually assumed that she might have known, but she didn't know. Okay. But, Dan, the, the, he should have told her that Dan was back on Earth as a spirit. But she can't even see him anyways. But, oh my god! Okay, I, I thought we were past the point of keeping secrets. But you clearly cannot help yourself. Why is that? Oh, I, no. I gave up everything. Then why wouldn't you tell me that you have a daughter? Because it isn't true. I can't keep a secret if I don't know what the secret is. But you keep keeping secrets. Oh! oh. In Lucifer's defense, it literally just happened right now, like, in this episode. Like, it's been, what, three hours? Maybe, what, ten hours max? Like, it's been, like, oh, um, it's been, you know, not that long, and all these things happened at once. But, I do agree that he should have told Chloe about Dan earlier. But the door that he, sh he should have told her anyways, because they're partners, as she said. You need that trust. Like, you gotta work, you gotta sort out this stuff together. Not on your own anymore. You have Chloe by your side all the time. You know, she did give up everything for you. Like, you should 
give her the respect. Okay, we're team Chloe. We're team both of them. Okay, get it. You know, but no more drama. Let them be happy. This is nothing. It's fine. Yes, let's focus on why we're here. Right. Anyone from the avocado farm in a year, if that's the case, then why is he selling this? Holy guacamole. Yeah. He's lying to us. It's theirs. That's interesting. Hide one truth. You're probably hiding something else. <laughs> what Come on, place too soon. Is. Oh. I'm grant you two seconds. Wait, wait, wait. Is he keeping them all like hostage or something? Like he's keeping them there. He's like kidnapped them or I don't know, maybe not kidnapped. I don't know. But he's keeping them there against their will, right? He has to be. Fucking shady ass. Off my property. I'm about to be supreme being and she's about to be first lady to all things. You can't <laughs> the hell off my land or I call the cops. What is it you desire? Oh no, here we go. I want to go home. Shut up. Oh Shut shit. Up. I've shot trespassers before. I'll do it again. Yeah, but he's God, bitch. Oh, shit! Did he actually get shot for real? Lucifer! We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah, I'm fine, but... Yes, queen, that's right. Oh, look at my... Look at my deck and start working together. But see, uh, oh! But see, I think, I love this, but I think that Chloe doesn't need to have the rod to be able to punch the shit out of somebody. Like, she's a badass on her own. She doesn't need that thing. That's an interesting, the power's going to, she's getting addicted. This is, mm, it's not going to work out well. Shit, Chloe. What's it going to do? Okay. But that girl knew something. Maybe that girl knows where Mira went, maybe. It's almost identical to the one in the photo. Oh. Did Mira draw it? Mira, wonderful. She goes from a cult to a relationship with an online stranger. I don't know what's worse. <laughs> Do you know the guy's name? I plan to be a boots on the ground type of god. Oh, bless him. <laughs> He's really actually trying. You gotta give him props. <laughs> Thank you. So I, have a... I think maybe you should go on your own. Not still mad about Hello. Esther, are you? No. No, I he thinks it's his think daughter. that Mira might actually be your daughter, don't you? Exactly. Your father was getting protective. Chloe. If she really is your daughter, we will figure this out together, okay? That's exactly. As partners. Yes! I may not be certain of a lot right now, but one thing is for sure. I have never loved anyone the way I love you. <laughs> No, I love them. What the fuck? I love them. <laughs> no, you know what I really love? I love them no matter what obstacle the riders throw at them. Deckerstar always just comes out on top and like, you, like, normally like, Lucifer having a kid would be, is like a big thing and like, in normal relationships or, you know, some relationships, like, the other party would be like, get weird about it or something, but like, we know that Chloe and Lucifer love each other so much, it doesn't matter. Lucifer had no idea that he may have a kid, you know, may have a kid. Like, but no matter what the outcome is, Chloe's gonna be there by his side no matter what, and vice versa. And that's why Dekasar is amazing. They've been through too much to let this come between them, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's a couple of secrets, but like, and then you Chloe would find a little bit of unnecessary drama, but like, this just reaffirmed how strong they are together, you know? Facts. Dekasar rise, bitch. What are you, 72? I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> for the record, I'm 43. You're not the girl from oh, the not her. house. Yeah, it's Mira, but not her D's daughter. Who are you? Not Mira's father. Well, I am. I'm gonna call the cops if you don't leave. Oh, right. No, Mira's no, because Esther said that she didn't know who her who the dad was. She had no idea who the father was, but maybe Mira tracked him down. Oh, uh, okay, she's living with her dad now. Okay, that's fine. But why doesn't the mom know? Doesn't matter. But the way he got really protective over Mira for the while he thought that she was his daughter, like this is a the good Lucifer God could never, like the other God could never, you know. Father, mother, she's worried about you. She is. Hmm. Really? Of course. I didn't think she wanted to see me. Oh, honey. She never stopped looking for you. How do you know my mother? 
Uh, <laughs> there's a chance I thought I might earn 18 years of child support. You must be Lucifer from Morningstar. <laughs> Years looking into the men who could have been my father. Oh, you're the only one I couldn't find. Well, that's oh, good place. Not exactly on Google Maps, is it? No, I think it was the first one when I looked into her eyes. Mm. Just felt it in my gut. No, but that's what happened with Lucifer when he looked into her eyes at the beginning of the episode. Do you remember? They had that moment, and I was like, maybe. Maybe the eyes, the eyes tell. Maybe he knows deep down it is his daughter, maybe. He'll, he'll, I think he'll know in his soul if it is. Yeah, he knows. It's his daughter. He knows! Oh, what is happening? Wait, why are we crying? Why are we crying? Why is Trixie crying? Why are we crying? What happened? Did she tell her? What's happening? Why any context? I need context. Don't fuck with me, man. Oh, please! I can't do this again! You're really gonna fuck you, bitch? Listen, I can't fucking do this again. I'm not doing this shit again, man. Trixie killed me once before. I'm not letting it happen again. But, like... She has one scene so far and I'm dead. Oh, Scarlett's such an amazing actress. I hate her. I <laughs> know I love her. I'm just kidding. Man, you can't do that to me. That's so rude. Don't do that to me. Take me back. There we go. There we go. Seeing Chloe, seeing Trixie, not being able to hug them, it's, I it's know, worse than hell. I know. <sighs> Please. She reached the mortal plane. It became intangible. I Excuse me? I can't carry her back even if I wanted to. Oh. And I do. Wait, so he's so what, I'm just stuck. Saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure she knows the whole story. Mm. And neither do I. And neither do I. Because if I'd known... What are you saying? Lucifer, are you saying what I think you're saying? When I stared into her eyes... It was... It was so familiar. Yes, it is his eyes. I don't know how it's possible, Daniel, but... But you have a daughter. She's my daughter. I know, but who's the mother? Who cares? I mean, oh, wow. That's great, man. You gotta take advantage of the time you have with your kids before it all goes away. Don't say that to me. I'm gonna cry. Don't say that to me. Go get her. <laughs> Literally, go. I will. Go find her. See, now I like I his daughter. What's her name? Lucifer. It's not. Is it her? Is it his daughter? Dan. Dan. Oh my god. Oh, it's... It's a daughter. Who are you? What the fuck? Is that her daughter too? Hi, Mom. Oh! What? What? Wait, what? So it's Chloe's and Lucifer's daughter. Wait, how? Well, I've got questions. More questions I have. I, said, I literally said, who's the mother? Who cares? But no, it's Chloe's the mother. That's what do you mean? She's from the future, right? How? Time travel. What the fuck? Well, hold on. Wait, what? Wait, but that's her daughter. Two. Yo, literally... You're telling me? You're telling me that's their daughter together? That's Zekasau's child? So Lucifer and Chloe, obviously Lucifer and Chloe can get pregnant. But you know what it was? You know there's a theory when she got stabbed with the, 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 the stick, the stick of womb. No, no, that's not it's what it's called. The, the magical stick. 
what's his name? Star for whatever. He the tree of life, whatever. She got attacked. She got stabbed by it. So maybe that gave her the power to be able to hold a child from a celestial being. That will make sense, clearly. She got stabbed with the Tree of Life, the stuff from the Tree of Life, or whatever. Whatever it was, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so her getting stabbed obviously gave her the ability to be able to carry a child from a celestial being, clearly. Must, maybe. But if that's true, then how is this daughter here? Like, is she from the future? Is there some alternate dimension? Like, what the fuck? Like, I have questions, though! I have questions. Man, you're really coming for me with Dekasar's child, man. Oh my god, I was like, who the hell's the mother? No, it's literally Dekasar's child. That's okay, it's fine. Like, I love it. But why, though? Why was he an absent father? He would never leave Chloe and the child. He would never leave her. Bitch, you're stressing me out, man. You really think you can do this to me in the last season? Like, seriously? Like, you are just changed the whole game on me. That's not fair, man. Okay. i got to process this, but that was a great episode. Dan, um... Dan being able to see him and Dylan Mays, and, like, them being able to see him was really, really sweet. Like, it was it was nice that, you know, we kind of got a bit of closure with the men and Dylan Dan, kind of, you know... But yeah, they apologized for the fight they had. Like, he was great. Like, I love that. And, like, I knew... But I didn't know that now that he's up in Earth, he can't go back down. Like, he's stuck there. Unless... is the only way he can ascend to heaven is to, you know, um, extinguish all the guilt that he has. Maybe that's the only way to get him upstairs, up to heaven, maybe. But I love it. I love it so much. I think it's great. And I... It just breaks my heart that Dan can't see Trixie and Chloe. I would really like, by the end of the series, for Chloe and Trixie to have a bit of closure with Dan. Maybe, if they can see him. I don't know. It would be nice. I'm sure there's a way for it to happen. It has to be. But, like... Holy shit, man. This episode... Really? They're Dekasar's daughter? I'm not okay. I feel like I was just thrown for a loop. And I need more answers. Okay, I have more questions now. So, guys, that was my reaction to episode four. What did you guys think? Oh, my God. Like, our parents have had a kid. Like, we have siblings. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, but his daddy, really? And she's mommy. I can't say that. That's that's embarrassing. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm processing what I just saw. Like, it's a lot. But, like, I have so many questions. Anyways, I'm going to go watch the next one. I love you guys. Have a good day. What are, you th uh, what are you guys thinking? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys for episode 5 pretty soon. I love you guys. And ciao for now. Bye, guys.